Hey guys, welcome to your computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about video display devices. This is the only devices version. Okay, I'll be giving the PPT that is presentation also. I'll be attaching it with the video. So in this we'll learn the three types of video display devices and their subtypes. There are total three types of video display devices. First one is cathode ray tube also called as CRT. The next one is direct view storage tube also called as DVST and the third one is flat panel display. Cathode ray tube. The operation of CRT is very simple. The electron gun emits a beam of electrons that is cathode rays. The electron beam passes through focusing and deflection systems that direct it towards a specified position on the phosphor coated screen. So there is a phosphor coated screen and the electron uh, beam which is emitted by the electron gun passes through some deflection plates which adjust the position and it is uh, focused on a phosphor coated screen okay when the beam hits the screen the phosphor emits a small spot of light at each position contacted by the electron beam so whenever the beam hits the screen the phosphor emits some small spot of light at that position it redraws the picture by directing the electron beam over the same screen point quickly so basically again and again it quickly passes the beam and it uh, redraws the picture this is the structure of crt okay so we have the control grid over here and this is the cathode okay so this is the electron beam guys these are the deflection plates and focusing coil basically these deflection coils and focusing coils what they do is they focus this uh, focusing plates they are also called as focusing plates they basically focus the electron beams and these deflection uh, plates or deflecting coils they actually change the position of this beam so where you want to place that point or where you want to display the picture is ch uh, changed using this deflection plates okay so this is the structure of our crt crt display techniques okay a crt monitor displays color pictures by using a combination of phosphors that emit different colored lights. By combining emitted lights from different phosphors, a wide range of colors can be generated. There are two basic techniques for producing color display with CRT. Okay, The two basic techniques are beam penetration method and second one is the shadow mask method. Okay, So first we'll take a look at beam penetration display. The beam penetration method for displaying color pictures has been used with random scan monitors. Okay, so this is used where random scan monitors. I'll be making a video on random scan monitors, guys. If you don't know what random scan monitors are, I'll put the link also in the description below. Two layers of phosphor, usually red and green, are coated onto the inside of the CRT screen. Okay, and the displayed color depends on how far the electron beam penetra penetrates into the phosphor layer. So basically, how far the electron beam penetrates into the phosphor layer. Uh, decides what will be the color that is going to be emitted okay a beam of slow electron excites only the outer red layer huh? so it will display red color when the electrons are slow a beam of very fast electron penetrates through the red layer and excites the inner green layer so when the electron beam is fast that time green layer will be displayed at intermediate beam speeds combination of red and green lights are emitted to show two additional colors orange and yellow so when the speeds are intermediate there will be two different colors that can be produced based on how much speed intermediate speed is generated so there are orange and yellow the speed of the electron and hence the screen color at any point is controlled by the beam acceleration voltage so basically the speed of the electrons is dependent on the beam acceleration voltage and the speed of the electron decides the color on the screen so that's how we control the color on the screen by beam acceleration voltage all right the next technique is shadow mask display so shadow mask method are commonly used in raster scan display okay so what was uh, beam penetration used for it was used in random scan display shadow mask is used in raster scan display including color tv as they produce a much bigger range of colors than the beam penetration method. So what is the difference between shadow mask and beam penetration? Shadow mask display produces much wider range of colors than the beam penetration method. A shadow mask CRT has three phosphor color dots at each pixel position. Okay, so there are three color dots at 
at each pixel position one phosphor dot emits a red light another emits a green light and the third emits blue light so this is rgb if you don't know rgb color model you can check my video on it i have made a video already on rgb color model shadow mask display crt has three electron guns where we had in our random scan display beam penetration method we only had one electron gun in shadow mask display there are three electron guns one for each color dot and a shadow mask grid just behind the phosphor coated screen so basically what happens i'll show you with the help of a picture say these are the three electron guns okay red green and blue okay so they are uh, point uh, they are transmitting three electron beams okay this one is transmitting red this one is transmitting green and this is transmitting blue okay so and this is the shadow mask so basically shadow mask what it does is it decides where on the screen all the three lights will be uh, transferred okay so this is the magnified phosphor dot triangle basically this is how the uh, dot triangle of three colors look on the screen but this is actually one pixel position this three dots are there so every pixel position has three different dots okay and this is the screen so this is how operation of uh, shadow mask crt happens basically the shadow mask decides where on the screen uh, the uh, all the three beams will be focused say so let's say if you want to produce just a magenta color on the screen so what do you do you just uh, transmit red and blue okay and green will be uh, zero over here so this is how you put uh, magenta color so basically what you do is you just change the intensity of each color to get a new color instead of just the beam uh, penetration voltage in beam penetration method we had to change the voltage and that used to control the color on the screen in this case you have to control the intensities of all the three colors okay and they will decide what final color is seen on the screen so this is how operation of crt works now third model is direct view storage tube okay this is a old technology guys but it's still important to learn about it so an alternate method for maintaining a screen image is store the picture in formation uh, inside the crt instead of refreshing the screen a direct view storage tube short form is dvst stores the picture information as a charge distribution just behind the phosphor coated screen two electron guns are used in dvst okay in dvst we are using two electron guns okay so what are the two electron guns used for one the first one is called primary gun okay also called as writing gun is used to store the picture pattern and the second one is the flood gun which maintains the picture so basically the writing gun is the one which actually uh, stores the picture behind the screen and the flood gun is basically maintaining the picture by flooding the grid if you want to learn about this i'll make a video on dvst also a detailed video okay you can check it out advantages and disadvantages of dvst what are the advantages because in dvst there is no refreshing is needed very complex pictures can be displayed at very high resolution without flicker why there is no flicker because there is no refreshing required that's why we can have a much complex picture than random scan display in dvst what are the disadvantages disadvantages of dvst system are that they ordinarily do not display color okay since we can only charge and store one image okay what happens is you cannot display color and the selected parts of the picture cannot be erased that's one very big disadvantage so suppose there is some uh, small change that you want to make in the same picture and you want to keep the rest of the picture the same you cannot do that you have to eliminate the full picture then the screen must be erased and then the modified picture must be redrawn again so that's the disadvantages of dvst now we we'll look at flat panel displays the term flat panel display are video devices that have three advantages compared to a crt okay a significant feature of flat panel display is that they are thinner than crt so what are flat panel display guys the tvs that you have nowadays okay that is your laptop screens which are flat or your lcd led tvs they are flat panel displays okay so they are much more uh, sh uh, this thing thinner than your crt monitors which used to be there previously or crt televisions also they used to be bulgy but uh, flat panel displays are thin the second advantage is flat panel displays are lightweight since they don't have all the big phosphor screen and then uh, the 
<coughs> beam uh, penetration method also had uh, one gun but whereas our uh, shadow mask has three electron guns so it used to increase the weight also instead in flat panel display you don't have that much weight that's why that's one advantage so you can hang it on the wall or you can even wear it as a watch nowadays your lcd watches or your mobile screens they they are all flat panel displays basically flat panel displays have less power requirement compared to crt that's also one of the major requirement nowadays we need to save power so flat panel display help us to uh, use the same and uh, get the same kind of result as crt but with much less power requirements types of flat panel displays there are two types of flat panel displays emissive display non emissive display so what are emissive displays displays that convert electrical energy into light emissive means it emits light so basically displays that convert electrical energy into light for example plasma panels thin film electroluminescent displays and light emitting diodes okay as the name suggests led light emitting so it emits light are examples of emissive display what are non emissive displays non emissive displays or non emitters use optical effects to convert sunlight or light from some other source into graphic patterns the most important example of non emissive flat panel display is liquid crystal display or lcd okay nowadays lcd is present but led is taking over LC, uh, lcd but lcd still exists today so this is how an lcd looks like okay and this is how an led looks like light emitting diode so that's it for today guys thank you for watching this video guys please make sure that you subscribe to my channel i'm getting all this content for free for you guys so make sure you subscribe you like and share this video with your friends thank you